Um, my name is Logan, I'm joined by John and you're here today to protest against the indoctrination of our children, the propaganda that's being shoved down their throats at as young as the age of five even. So um, are you pretty happy today with the turnout? Yes Logan, I really am. Uh, I'm part of the, uh, the group uh, which we call CAUSE, C-A-U-S-E, uh, which is Coalition Against Unsafe Schools Education. And so we're only a small group of volunteers, of busy people, uh, and uh, uh, we've, uh, like the, the, the message has been going on for quite some time, particularly from people like Mazina, who you heard speak, and others uh, that didn't speak today, but mainly uh, mothers of young children uh, that have been really concerned and have investigated uh, what's been actually going on with the safe schools and have been so concerned. And so they have been uh, connecting through, um, uh, I guess, phone and text and uh, the internet generally and Facebook, etc. And so the word started to penetrate. But um, uh, we've had other meetings out in Cranbourne, where I come from. But this was this rally was something was planned a while ago, uh, was put on the shelf, and then brought forward again. And we've actually pretty much pulled it together in the last. I suppose four to six weeks really and in the last couple of weeks it's just been accelerated and so considering um, you know uh, the, the, limit, the limits of uh, how we've been able to operate up to this point with such a small number of people probably about a dozen people really and a core of maybe you know about five or six um, uh, I think we've done well. We really have and it's wonderful to see so many people out here fighting for the futures of our children yeah. against the ideologies that they're shoving um, in our children's faces. And we shouldn't even have to have an event like this. It should just be common knowledge that we should not be sexualizing our kids. Absolutely. And that, that, that's just the way it should not be. It shouldn't be, we shouldn't have to be gathered here. I could, we could be out doing other things. Yes. But I'm so happy to see everyone gathered here today for the future of our children. So what are your hopes for the future? The hopes for the future is that firstly, we'll be able to network the message. Uh, because Logan, what we find as we talk to people, even, even parents with children at school, uh, primary and secondary, are not aware of what Safe School is all about. Um, it's, it's, it's held in the shadows in a sense and uh, it's presented as anti-bullying and that's what people think and most people with got kids if you've got kids at school or kids anywhere uh, you, you, when you get that word oh anti-bullying you, you would be favorable wouldn't it yeah um, but it's only when people have investigated and people like Mazina and there was a particularly a couple of ladies that have been great workers at this but we're, 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 weren't able to speak today but they did investigations they went in they went to their their school principals and leadership quite often got very little hearing whatsoever. Thank you for your support. What, um, what do you hope to do in the future when it comes to the um, safe schools? Uh, well the safe schools uh, is affecting, it, it ultimately will affect everybody, not just the children in school and their parents, but the whole concept uh, of indoctrinating our children in the schools uh, inappropriately um, uh, and, and indoctrinating them on, well, what is really Marxist theology, it's designed to break the family. Uh, and so as, there's a lot more b behind it, Logan, than just on the surface. So it's a complete agenda, like they've, they've got this all planned out. And it's an agenda. Now, as a concerned citizen, as a father, grandfather, all of that, um, and as a... Uh, as a, uh, a minister in the gospel, uh, because I'm ministering in the church and outreach, I do a lot of outreach work, and I'm uh, I'm dealing with a, with a lot of broken people that come from a broken society, and our society is sick enough now without actually indoctrinating our kids with toxic theologies that are totally dangerous. Um, that the if it continues, the uh, mental health issues are going to be absolutely endemic because it brings confusion on young minds. When those young minds are confused, uh, they become angry uh, and uh, 
they they don't know which way is up. Mm. Um, so the whole thing is seriously dangerous. As a senior, um, uh, I'm 81 years of age. I was born in 1937. I've got. I'm telling you, I've worked hard here today, up and down this street. But it, the passion uh, in me to preserve my own family, to preserve families, to preserve the future of our children, and to preserve the nation. We're at war, Logan. Uh, not with bombs. They don't have to do that. The enemy can come in and destroy us from within. And that's what's happening. And that's what's happening with this with this uh, program. It's uh, it's white anting. It's destroying the fibre, the character, the minds of our young people. Because how how I see this whole thing is, it's turning into a bit like George Orwell's 1984, and where they're now trying to control. Um, people mentally and they're trying to get to our kids who are not developed yet they, they haven't got the, um, the moral compass in their mind yet they have not got um, any direction of where they're going so why should the government be telling our children uh, what uh, like what they can and cannot do at such a young age what um, indoctrinating them sexualizing our children turning them into objects absolutely it's indoctrination look a few days from now uh, I'll be in these streets marching in the Anzac Day March okay uh, the the military service I had was national service I didn't serve overseas I didn't serve in combat but I march in that march on Anzac Day because I honor those that did uh, when I came you know I was only a child in the first the Second World War but uh, when I, in the late 50s, when we had national service, every young man was called in to serve uh, the, their nation in the military. Yeah. Um, and so when I march down the street uh, on next Wednesday, uh, I feel uh, grateful. I feel proud that I'm an Australian. But Aussie guys, some of them 16, 15, 16 years of age, they, 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 uh, they volunteered put their age up to get in to, to protect our country, mate. Uh, I'm serious about this, I can tell you. I'm really serious about this and I'll fight it to the last breath. Because I remember my grandfather, he um, wanted to put his age up to join the military as well. Yes, there you and go. he, I look up to him, he's my role model. Because yes. he's raised me since I was 10 months old. Yes, yes. And, Is that right? wow. yeah, exactly. And he, he's always been my, my hero. Yes, yes. And now it, it's sad to see that everything that um, they fought for. everything they fought for, everything that um, the past generations have tried to build up, yes. these idiots are destroying. Yes, yes. They're trying to tear it down, yes. and we cannot let them tear it down. No, no. They're, 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 they don't. As I say, they don't need bombs and guns. They just white ant the fibre and the character of the people, and indoctrinate the children from from childhood, from small children. Uh, that's what they're doing. It's a, it's a practice that's been used throughout the world through different times, um, and that's what they're doing here. It's a Marxist, uh, uh, you know, communist type of uh, strategy. Um, uh, Nazi Germany did the same thing, the indoctrination of the children and the young people. Um, that's where they go. Yeah. And, and do that, they've got them. Uh, like how unless by a sovereign move of God, mm. um, we, we as a nation are in serious problems. We've got to fight this. We've got to call the people. Like today was good, but we can do about we could do it about ten ten times that number here next time we do it. See, schools. I've I've always viewed schools as a place where people learn skills to use in their future life, not a propaganda machine. Yeah. And Hitler done the same thing when he made the Hitler Youth Movement, and they are doing just that. Exactly they are. They might act like they're rejecting what he done but they are taking um, pages out of his book yes. um, on how to push their agenda and they're trying to use our kids and imagine as a parent seeing your child basically trust the teachers and the school and the uh, government more than they trust you as uh, a parent yeah. imagine that's it's disheartening to see that it's a pretty sad dynamic seriously sad uh, but I tell you what, I'm really encouraged talking to you, Logan, to see a young man with an understanding, uh, revelation of truth, uh, and the uh, and the and the courage to speak it out. Uh, obviously, you're a, a media man, 
and building a career in that field, uh, probably with, with just with your small group in the moment. But God, let God take you on a pathway. We need we need people like you. We need we need uh, godly people. Um, well, I'm a Christian, so I'll speak as a Christian. But the thing about it is this: that there's a lot of people that are not Christians. Um, that uh, once they find out that what this is all about, they rise up. Um, and that's what we, we intend to connect with those people, right? And let them know the truth. There's a lot of people, a lot of people think, oh, this is a bunch of Christians, you know, that are all of that. But I'm telling you, there's a multitude out there that are not professing Christians that feel the same way as we do. Exactly. We've got to reach them, Logan. Um, and you as your media, you as, and your friends, as associates with this paper that you're doing, or this media that you're doing, uh, go for it, mate. Move forward with it. Become pro high profile. God will support you. God will encourage you. Go for it, mate. Thank you very much. Give, give them heaps. <laughs> I will. Don't worry about that. Well, God bless you. God bless, God bless you, you, John. Yeah, it's been Thank really you. Really pleasure to talk to you. Thank you for attending today. You've done a wonderful. Oh, you've done yeah. wonderful work. Um, I don't know where your bullhorn went. Uh, <laughs> well, anyways, well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us again um, for another Unshackled video. Um, we got some awesome coverage of the uh, Safe Schools Rally where we are rallying against the indoctrination of our children and we are rallying for the future of our children to make their own choices in life and to have a good future, not a future filled with propaganda. Thank you very much for joining us and have a wonderful day. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.